Incident ahead, incident ahead. Berkey Road, St. Matthews, Alabama. Uh, St. Matthews, South Carolina, y'all. 138 mile marker. Uh, what's going on here, y'all? A little bit ago, about a half an hour ago, I saw a truck burn to the ground. The trailer was burned to the ground and the guy couldn't save his tractor. So, truck and trailer burned to the ground on uh, I-20, no, I-95 before you get on I-26 a few miles. This over here might have been what, what this was. I call that, I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Y'all know where I get that from? I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Somebody got slammed in the ass right there. Looks like a Cadillac, a Cadillac XTS or something over there. Somebody got rear-ended right there. Get loaded out late. Get loaded out late. Then you try to recover some time going up the road. Doesn't work. Trucking usually when you're late, you're real late. But at least I wasn't involved in this or that truck fire. So we'll see what this is. Scratch King, you know where this is. If you, I don't even know if you watch my videos, but uh. By the pilot by St. Matthews. It's that incident ahead, 138 mile marker, so we'll see what it is. Say the right lane's blocked, so we'll see what happens. We've got about a half mile back of them, I think. Set this light just to see. Dude, here you go. Somebody fixing the flat tires, that's not it. No damage on those vehicles. Yesterday's video <coughs> with the Barracuda, he had uh, eaten my bait when I brought it in. He came out of nowhere. Out of the shadows, that brackish water, he. Uh, bit my bait in half later came back for more on a head that it was on the bottom and I was reeling in another bait fish I saw him again I said oh, I'm going to get you this time they tell me uh, Barracuda is very very good eating I end up filleting it beautiful white meat on it not a trace of blood so I guess it's actually a pretty clean fish a very clean fish so I'll let you know how that tastes uh, when I get home. I guess, uh, what, tomorrow night? Probably be home about four or five, as long as I don't do a little pickup in Georgia. After Jacksonville route. So we'll see what happens. I'll put this down for a minute. I don't see any cops, so we're okay right now. Put it down momentarily. Until we get up on this incident. Yeah, a lot in trucking's uh, Murphy's Law. You get loaded out late, you start getting up the road. If you're gonna be delayed starting out, you're gonna be delayed finishing out. There's a little 
slow down here. I'm right out two hours from my destination right now. In good traffic with nothing like this. This must be where the incident is. Come on in there, rent me. Rent me vacuum truck. All right, so. See this road here, y'all? It's called Popcorn Road, Popcorn. And it's really good for the first year. And then after that, it deteriorates too much. So it's a cheaper form of paving, but it's not worth anything. It's like a car fire, y'all. Yeah. It's like a... Uh, Look like a Buick, uh, a Buick something, car fire. Car fire, y'all. There you go. Hopefully nothing else coming up the road. If there is, I'll video something else. Happy Friday to everybody, and uh, see anything else, I'll let you know. Uh, stay tuned on Sunday. I'll go live if I have a big fish on my line, just like I did with that uh, sharp nose last weekend. So if I get something big on my ride, I will go live. Otherwise, I'll just do a static standard video of uh, what I caught, do a reveal, and all that. I love living in paradise, y'all. And it's great to be able to catch a fish every single time I go over there. I catch dinner, dinner or lunch, whichever. I always catch and I'll be doing fishing from 7 to 4 or 7 to 5, depending on how many big ones I catch. All right? Maybe next time I'll catch a different species of shark. Maybe I'll catch a bull shark or something else, like a spinner, maybe a hammerhead, something like that. We'll see. All right? Jack out.